Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. A little bit of a weather stew when it comes to our forecast. <laughs> Good way to put it. Dash of this and a sprinkle of that. <laughs> And a whole lot more is in <laughs> store. We have had one heck of a roller coaster, and we're still on it. So we had the storms over the weekend. In some areas, the skies opened up. We were even talking about near Valley Center getting close to a half an inch in one hour. Then other places, if you went further west, you were dealing with sunshine. You're like, that crazy meteorologist at Channel 8, oh, what's she talking about? Well, I was talking about a few scattered showers and thunderstorms really favoring the mountains. And talking about all that activity on Saturday, I have a picture of Saturday morning. Morning. This was sent in by Dawn, so the clouds started to really build in and we saw peaks of sunshine, but any sunshine that we saw because we had that upper low gave way to that disturbance. So we did have a few of those thunderstorms popping up, really favoring the mountain areas with the instability in the air. If you want to send me your pictures, of course, go ahead. Weather at KFMV.com and we'll showcase them here. So current temperatures were into the 50s and 60s right now from the mountains all the way towards the west, but 77 degrees for Borrego Springs. 62 right now for Poway, 57 degrees Mount Laguna, the same for Palomar Mountain. We have wind speeds that are fairly light. It's a pretty quiet night for us. So 10 miles per hour right now for Julian at five for Ramona, the same for El Cajon as well as downtown. We have some coastal low clouds building in. We started to see those as we went to the early evening hours, but you're looking at mostly clear skies for the mountains as well as the desert. Now we do have a few showers that we're seeing for the west and scattered shower activity, but it's fairly quiet overall for the west coast. We do have a few showers and storms that were building in Texas earlier, but now we're just seeing the showers linger because the heating of the days just kind of wearing off. Also for the northeast, we're seeing some shower activity, even some snow, and that will give way to a winter storm storm advisory that's in place could get an upwards of a foot of snow over the next couple of days for a, yeah exactly <laughs> we are talking about winter weather for the northeast but Pacific Northwest we're dealing with shower activity moving in and then that system will get closer towards California and as we hit the next couple of days we're looking at the showers building up so it will be right offshore as we hit our Wednesday forecast better chance for showers returning half an inch possible for the mountains most of the county getting a tenth to about a quarter of an inch and that will mainly be west of the mountains. You're not seeing too much in the desert with that next storm system approaching. That will be on Thursday, a little bit drier for the coast by Friday, but still holding on to a chance for morning showers for the inland valleys. Much of the same for the mountains, but take note. We're talking about a dip in degrees. 78 degrees will be the high tomorrow for the mountains, down to 52 by uh, Thursday, as well as going with that big swing from 98 into the 70s for the desert. So that front really knocking down those temperatures. And in the northeast, it's mid-May and they're getting snow. They're getting right. potentially a foot of snow. Right, zero complaints. <laughs> what All is right. going on? Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Carly. Carly. Welcome.